What is going on YouTube? Lamont at large coming to you live from Paisley Park here in the Minneapolis area in Minnesota. So this is the final resting place of the man, the legend, one name only, and that is, of course, Prince. I just took the uh, tour. There's two tours here available. One is a uh, $45, 70-minute tour. And then, of course, they have a three-hour tour that costs about $180. Total VIP tour. I am not very important myself. I went with the lower budget cost tour. Now, they make you, as soon as you enter the building, place your phone in some kind of a green locked pouch that you cannot open for most, if not all, of the tour. You cannot take any pictures in there. They showed Prince's wardrobe from some of the concerts. I did get a little bit of video. I was allowed to use my phone at that time. You'll see Prince's motorcycle from the movie Purple Rain. There was three different motorcycles that was used in that movie. Fun fact, it was an automatic motorcycle. I don't know if he knew how to ride a manual or not. And then of course, uh, that was uh, inside of a stage where he would sometimes do concerts with uh, uh, fans or people or jam sessions or what have you. So I called ahead and I said, hey, listen, uh, can I see like his you know remains or the urn in which he's in for the vip package they said no so there is a couple pictures online of his urn of where his ashes are kept uh they at the beginning of the when they first started doing these tours uh you could go ahead and uh you know they would walk by where his ashes were but his family didn't want that no longer taking place so you're no longer allowed to see his ashes on any of the tour at all he died of course april 21st 2016 of a fentanyl drug overdose uh, he had actually overdosed i believe uh one week prior to his overdose so there is some speculation on if it was accidental or not now i will say this and what i'm going to say right now is going to make some prince fans ears burn i was not a prince fan in terms of his music i was not i'm sorry uh that kind of music funk jam music whatever you want to call it not my thing however that is not to take away from the legend this man was an ultimate musical genius and i will say this in my opinion because i'm a big fan of rock and roll he might be in my top 10 greatest guitar players of all time uh, he was a musical genius a musical prodigy uh, he played every instrument I did not know that he played the drums and he did he played uh, a lot of instruments on his own albums and uh, very very uh, popular I mean he's uh, almost cultish uh, to say the least um Kind of uh, learned a couple interesting things about him, and I'm glad I went on the tour. I wish I could show you guys where his uh, r remains are, but I can't get to that room. Uh, no matter how many times I tried to hide behind the velvet-colored couch as they would go from room to room, the tour guy would often catch me trying to lurk behind in the shadows to go into the uh, areas of the place that you're not uh, supposed to be at. And she would tell me, Lamont, come along. I see you I'm trying to hide right there because you want to go into the other room. But it's off limits to the public. Anyway, somewhere in this building is uh, Prince's uh, ashes, guys. So uh, if you ever make it to the Minneapolis area, uh, no offense to anybody from this city, a lot of areas you want to avoid right now. But this place, definitely not one of them. If you are a fan of Prince, even if you're not a fan of Prince, you're just a casual fan. Uh, come down and do the uh, the hour tour. Uh, it's really cool if you're a fan of guitars. I love guitars. Uh, he got some of his uh, guitars on display right there, some of his outfits. Uh, I was surprised how small he was. I did not know that. 
and uh, it's just quite an interesting uh, tour to say the least so I would definitely tell you to come on by and uh, you know it's a pretty cool little tour all right guys I gotta go on to the next one catch up with you later peace out